always been very interested in graphic novels. I will freely admit that in middle school I was quite a, um, a manga nerd. I was even subscribed to Shonen Jump. Shh, you didn't hear that. Um, <laughs> and so since like sixth grade I've always wanted to be able to publish something of my own and I've had a couple ideas over the years, but none of them really panned out because as soon as I got to the drawing stage, it was a lot of work and I kind of just gave up. <laughs> but this was a good opportunity for me to kind of kick myself in the butt and get it done. So I planned out the novel and it's about 12 chapters long, which is very long, so I'm not going to be doing all of it. But I did write the first three chapters and do the plans for each page. And for the purposes of Senior Exhibit, I think I'm probably going to get chapter one drawn and finished because it's 24 pages long and I can only get about three pages a week done because each page takes a couple hours to do. So um, my very next forming activity was working with Miss Tiffany Yates, who is a graphic, graphic design teacher at Mary Washington. And we met at my house a couple times over the summer and worked with Photoshop so I could figure out how I could work with that to do the shading and text following of the pages, and that was very fun. Um, the application is obviously actually drawn the pages. And I have a summary of it right here. In a world where superheroing is a government job, Joanna is a superhero better known as Powerhouse, who has just transferred districts to Amherst, Massachusetts. <laughs> the town looks normal enough at first, a few supervillains here, a few snarky scientists there. But soon enough, she'll see that there are some buried secrets that threaten to tear apart the entire city. Perhaps even, yes, the entire world. <laughs> <laughs>